Well, we're now being joined by the international affairs expert, Greg Svensson, joining us live from London. Many thanks for your time, Greg, and quite a seismic week for Rishi Sunak's government. Give us your assessment on, firstly, just how significant this week is, but also how you potentially see it going. Might be the last chance for any real meaningful success for Rishi Sunak and for the government. So, so I think that you know it, it is a seismic week. You know we'll we'll, we'll know the the results on Wednesday. It's really hard to handicap at this point. It was blocked or overturned by the Court of Appeals, so that doesn't really send a, a positive signal. But again, the Supreme Court very well might reverse that decision. Um, too hard to call at this point. But I think what's important, as you pointed out, it, it is an enormous week. It, it, again, in many ways, it's the last chance to have anything meaningful coming out of this government that had an, you know, an 80 seat majority and is, and is in many ways squandered it. It's also a moment where you have to acknowledge that this is an issue that's really important to voters, not just in the UK. You know, you mentioned 45,000 illegal uh, asylum seekers. You know, that number is 2 million in the United States, 2 million a year. So we're approaching 10 million by the end of the Biden administration. And you're seeing it in Germany as well with the with the AFD alternative for Germany party, the right wing party in Germany calling for a Rwanda style plan for for the Germans. So I think this is in many ways just responses to voter concerns that have been ignored by Western governments. And further to this, if this result goes against Rishi Sunak's government, of course, that'll be a, a boost to the Labour Party. Give us your sense on how this type of week plays out in terms of the general election we're expecting here in the UK next year. Oliver, Oliver great question. I don't think there's much hope for, for the uh, Conservatives winning next year. This will help their cause for sure. Right now, they're polling 20 points down to Labour. Um, if So if they win this case... That will be a boost. That will be a you know finally a, a win for the Conservative Party, something meaningful. On the other hand, it, it might not be enough to save them. And also, if they lose the case, you know it, it really is the la the nail in the coffin. I can't see any way to come back from this uh, for the Conservative Party. Greg Svensson joining us live, international affairs expert from thanks, London. Thanks, Oliver. Many thanks for your time this morning. Good to be here.